Hi, this is Richard Quack here coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to personally I would like to personally welcome you to my Facebook live and in today's session I would like to talk about marketing and the topic is how to create websites using WordPress, okay? Using WordPress. Now, I'm sure you're aware that if you are having business online or you're promoting anything online, you need to have a website, okay? Because you need a website to showcase what you're promoting. That is very, very important. But I'm sure you know that, you know, having a website previously was a big issue, all right? Now, previously, having a website is a massive project because it is very expensive. And it costs you thousands of dollars. That's for sure. That is why a lot of people uh, could not have their own website because it was expensive during those days. But today, with all the improvement in the technologies and so on, having a website costs you less than hundred dollars. Do you believe that it will cost you less than hundred dollars? That's all. Okay. There are many platforms outside there that you can create your website. With the website builders everywhere, and also uh, there are also uh, HTML builders and so on. Okay, but today I want to talk about WordPress. Now, WordPress is the most popular blogging platform. It is called a blogging platform, but actually it is just a website. That's all. It is just a website. It is called a blogging platform, but it is just a website. All right. So WordPress is very very popular. In fact. I many years I moved to WordPress. Okay, I work, moved to WordPress because of various uh, uh, advantages of WordPress. So I moved my site to WordPress. I create my uh, website now based on WordPress. Of course, now I'm moving towards website builder as well. Okay, so basically here I'm going to show you a step by side, step by step guide. Okay, on how to create a website using WordPress. Would that be good for you? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, let's begin then. Number one, you need to pick a name and find a domain name. Now, it's important to find a domain name because that will be the address of your website. All right. Now, if you look for a domain name, the best advice I could give you is look for a .com. The dot .com is the best, all right, for various reasons, maybe for search engine purposes and so on. But there are many reasons uh, that is uh, why what, uh, .com is very important. Now, the other thing about the name is make sure that uh, it is related to your product or to your niche. Very, very important. Okay. But of course, by now, a lot of the uh, domain name has been taken, but you can still modify it. Now, let me give you an example. If you're going to look for weightloss.com, I can guarantee you 100% it is already taken. So what you can do is, what you can do is add some word to the beginning of the of the sentence all right let's say uh weight loss is taken then you can put something in front okay like you know a uh, uh, superweightloss.com or ultimateweightloss.com or something like that okay number two all right find something behind weight loss so you can uh use weightlossblueprint.com weight loss okay weight loss ultimate Dot com or something like that. So just to add it, so you can make a search. There are certain websites that allow you to make a search uh, uh, easily. Okay, there are certain websites that you can make a search easily. You can uh, make a search on Google for those type of website. All right, uh, what you can search for existing domain name. All right, so you got to look for a domain name. That's the number one. Number two, after you look for a suitable domain name, then you got to register the domain name. Okay. Now, there are a few sites that are very popular. Number one, you can register your domain name at uh, godaddy.com. The other site that is popular is also namecheap.com. Namecheap.com. Now, how much does it cost for a domain name? It depends. All right, but for a .com, it probably costs you uh, uh, about $10 per year. Then $10 per year or below $10 per year. So, it's okay. All right, for a domain name which you can use it for one whole year okay but you got to renew it the following year that's for sure that's number two register your domain name number three you got to decide what kind of site you're creating this is important what sort of site are you creating you must start with that okay with that idea what sort of site are you creating it could be a 
an information website. A blog could be an information website, maybe a website on weight loss. You know, you're giving people information, articles on weight loss and so on. Or it could be a sales website. That means you're trying to sell something. All right, so it can be a sales website. So you've got to decide on what kind of site you are going to create. That's very important, okay? From the very start, you've got to decide what website, uh, what type of site you are creating. Number four, now you have a domain name. Now you've got to get hosting. All right, you've got to get hosting. Hosting is very important because although you can create uh, your website on your computer, but if the website is on the computer, nobody else in the world can you know, uh, uh, access your website. So you got to upload your site to a server, which is called hosting. And when once the uh, website is on the server, then everywhere, everybody in the world can access your website. Okay. Now, hosting. There are many hosting outside there, but uh, there are a few that uh, you can use. You can, uh, by the way, you can check on the, on, on Google what's our site. I can give you a name, a, a few, uh, hostgator.com. You know, it's one of the uh, hosting site. Uh, there are others, all right? A GVO is another one and so on. So basically, a hosting is per month as well, all right? You go for an economical hosting first. Don't go for the expensive one. It could cost you only about uh, 5 US dollars a month. That's all. Go for a simple hosting site first, all right? Once you advance, you have many domain names, then you can go to a shared hosting all right but initially just go for a simple hosting for one website it costs you about five dollars per month so it's not expensive right for five dollars per month uh to set up a business all right uh number five install your wordpress now once you have your wordpress all right once you have your web wordpress you got to install it on your website okay there are two ways you can install it number one you can install it on your own which is of course not easy you got to be technical all right so but you go to wordpress.org okay there are instructions there how to install your own wordpress okay how to install your own wordpress it's quite technical uh i'm not going to go through here but if you want to know more you can go and make a search on youtube how to install wordpress okay it's very simple but then of course you know if you are new to it it takes some time uh, uh, to learn about it okay the other way is if you are hosting and your hosting provide you with a C panel, C panel, C P A N E L. If they provide you with C panel, then that is a, 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 a what do you call that? Is a script there? Okay, there is a function there which is called uh, what do you call uh, WP Toolkit. You can click on it when you go to the WordPress. Uh, when you go to your C panel, right? You you look for uh, what do you call uh, WP Toolkit, and from there you can click and install a WordPress on that uh, hosting. Okay, well, it's very simple. If you it will install for you automatically, all you need to do is basically uh, put down your email, okay, the username, the password, and so on. And you just click install, and it all will automatically install for you. Okay, it is very simple. Installation is very simple. Okay, but if you are technical, go for the first one. Okay, now cPanel nowadays most of the hosting are using cPanel, so it should not be a problem. Okay, number six, you got to point your domain to your host now remember you you are hosting maybe you host with uh what you call a uh, host gator let's say you host with host gator all right what you need to do is host gator has got a domain name server all right that means you got to have a domain server okay which is basically uh in terms of uh, uh numbers all right numbers uh ns1 ns2 and uh, followed by all the other uh, the numbers and so on which your hosting company can provide you that's for sure normally there are two two domain server okay uh, once you have that you got to go to your uh, domain name maybe godaddy or what do you call a uh, name cheap once you go there all right you got to put the name server inside the uh what do you call it? the the domain name that you have Let's say you purchase a domain name, all right, then once you get the the name server address from your hosting company, then you got to go to your domain registrar. Let's say HostGate, uh, let's say uh, GoDaddy, you got to log in into GoDaddy and go to the domain name and click on name server and put in that number, okay? Then only then, okay, then only then your hosting company and the domain will be linked together. That is very important. 
Okay, point your domain name to your host. Number seven, okay, once you install the, the WordPress, all right, you can install the WordPress. Uh, you need to install two things. The first thing you got to install is the theme. The theme is how your site will look like. Okay, there are a lot of free theme outside there. You can go to make a search, you know, a WordPress free theme on Google. And there are a lot of themes that you can pick and choose. Those are free, all right? But there are paid ones as well. Of course, there are paid ones if you want to. Uh, uh, you can pay for it. There are many sites outside there that, that you can purchase the theme from. But uh, for a start, you can uh, use a free one, all right? There are many themes outside there which are quite uh, beautiful, professional looking and so on. So you can uh, uh, install the WordPress theme, use a free one first, okay? Now, that is how your, your site will look like and also plugins. Now, what are plugins? Plugins are additional add-on that will help you to uh, help, help the site to uh, uh, be more effective. Okay. Example, uh, you know, if let's say you want to have a squeeze page, you got to have a, a plugin for squeeze page. Uh, maybe we got a plugin for uh, security purposes, you know, security to 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 uh, make sure that your site is not hacked and so on. So there are a lot of plugins that you can use. And uh, most of these plugins are free. You just go into your WordPress, click on a plugin and look for it, search for it. All right, search for it. And basically, once you have the plugin, you can install it. That's all. All right, but of course, uh, some of the plugins, uh, the more advanced one, probably you have to upgrade to the pro or you got to purchase. Okay, so plugins are, are just basically, you know, uh, uh, software that will help the your website or your blog to uh, to be more effective, that's it, to be more effective. There are many, many type of plugins there, right? Maybe, you know, if you have, uh, let's say you have, uh, you post and there are a lot of comments and so on, there are plugins that help you to delete the comment as well. Rather than delete the comment one by one, you can just click one button, the plugin, plugin that you, you download are free. Uh, you, you just need to uh, click one, one button and you delete all the comments from your uh, blog, okay? So very important. Install uh, WordPress theme and also the plugin. Then number eight. Well, now your your your, your blog or your website is ready. You got to add content, all right? You need to add content on a continuous web basis, all right? Now contents can be of two types. Number one, it could be posts, all right? It could be posts. You click on the post uh, button and then you can add a post. It's as simple as add a post. You know what? Post the title of the post, the content of the post, uh, choose the category you want to post to, create your own category if you want to, and then click post. It will post for you automatically, okay? Or you can create pages as well, right? If you want to uh, create your own sales pages, you want to create your own uh, uh, squeeze pages, then you can uh, use pages, okay? You can use pages, and pages is another uh, uh, section of the uh, WordPress whereby you click on pages, and then you can create a page. Okay, the page can be uh, uh, what you call can be uh, about me page, how to contact me page, or your sales page, uh, or you know uh, uh, what you call a uh, privacy policy page and so on. So it can be a lot of pages if you want to. All right, so in WordPress you can do that. Okay, add content. Now, lastly, number nine, you see your site need to continue to evolve. It cannot be stagnant. It cannot be just you you post one time and then leave the site there. Okay. What you need to do is on a continuous basis, maybe every few days or every week, you need to update your website or update your blog. Okay. Especially if it's an information uh, a website. If sales website, probably, you know, it's just for sale. It is one uh, one page website which you don't have to update if you don't want to, right? Unless there are certain information you want to update on a uh, once in a while but if you are talking about you know uh, uh, you have a blog for information then you have to update the website all the time keep on putting in new posts new posts new posts all the time are you with me so that's very important so uh, uh, basically that is all i can share with you how to create a website using wordpress in fact it's very simple all right if you have problem uh, what you can do is basically you can message me I can advise you or you can look for YouTube for information about how to create a website using WordPress. Okay, so that's all my sharing for today. Let me summarize for you how to create websites with WordPress. All right. Now, previously, it was expensive to create a website. But today, with all the blogging platform and with all the uh, uh, what you call the website builder, it is much easier now. Okay. Less, for less than $100, you can create a website.
WordPress is the most uh, uh, popular one. Okay, let me summarize for you the step. You got to pick a name, okay, and pick a domain name. Number two, you got to register your domain name. Number three, you got to decide what kind of site you are creating, whether it's information site, okay, which is basically a blog or uh, a sales website, okay. Number four, get hosting for your website. It can cost you about five dollar per month. Install your WordPress. There are two ways to install. Number one, you can get information from WordPress.org how to install, follow the instruction and install yourself. Or if you are using cPanel, which most of the host, hosting are using cPanel, you go to the function called uh, WP Toolkit and you can use that function to install it automatically. All you need to do is just put in the email, put in your username and password. That's it. All right. And number six, you can you need to point your domain name to your host. All right. Your domain name, you got to point to your hosting because get the hosting name server. You get the name server from your hosting company. All right. And then after that, you log into your cPanel. Uh, you log into your, what do you call? Uh, domain registrar like GoDaddy or Namecheat for that matter and in, include it inside. If you are lost, go on YouTube and search for it. Okay. Uh, number seven, install the WordPress theme. All right. The theme, which is the look of your site and the plugin as well. Choose whatever plugin you want, the basic one and so on, right? Number eight, you got to add content. Two types of content, pages and posts. And lastly, uh, you got to continue evolving your website. Okay, keep on updating, especially if it's a blog for information, you got to keep on uh, posting new posts and so on, okay? So that's all my sharing, sharing for today. I hope that you learned something here. If you like what you hear and see, please feel free to like, to share and to comment. I appreciate that you spend your time with me here. Okay. Uh, I'll see you again for another session of my live video on Monday. So this is Richard Quack from Malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye.